Anybody that meets Rick or knows him for a very short or long period of time will know how, how awesome he is. Uh, he's caring, he's very social. Rick's a people person. You know, he takes the time to talk and listen, know what's going on. He's taught me almost everything I knew in accounting. Um, don't tell him that, but um, he's taught me a lot. He was very helpful to me when I made partner, the year I made partner in 2015. You know, it's just an anxious time. His advice and, and, and calm demeanor was very helpful. And he's just got that good personality that people trust. Tell me about the accident. Oh, wow. Okay, well, the night before I was out playing some poker with some of the other partners, actually gotten in bed, decided I got to, you know, go up and use the bathroom like all of us old men have to do. And uh, started heading to the bathroom. And that's the last thing I remember. I was uh, heading that way. And then I woke up and I was laying on the bathroom floor. I don't know how I got there other than I must have fallen. Turned and looked at my feet, my legs, and I could see them, but I couldn't feel them, couldn't move them. And I knew it was really bad. Nobody was home. My wife, Frida, was up visiting one of our kids up north of Baltimore, which is a good hour and a half plus away. About 11 hours I laid there on the floor, going in and out of consciousness. It was just a, such a shock. Um, to me and probably everyone um, because such a fluke accident that could happen to anyone really. I think all of us wanted to do something. We just sprung into action. I don't even think we really had to think about it. We just knew we wanted to help. Everybody shared somewhat of a collective instinct that this is what we have to do as a team. So we had people that had never even met Rick that volunteered to help out and they served as the partner on his audit engagements kind of rally for them in terms of anything, gift cards, you know, financially, things that we could do to kind of alleviate what they were going through. And I think prayers, everybody was, you know, praying for them and making sure that, you know, we were always in touch with them, letting them know that we were thinking of them. In being a part of our national health care practice, it was especially profound for us that Rick and his family chose the Shepherd Center for that really crucial part of Rick's recovery. The Shepherd Center is a, um, a really important and really notable healthcare client of our firm. The Shepherd Center is like an extension of your home and family and it's one of the few places that you can go where you feel completely comfortable in your own skin. When I knew that Rick was there, um, I felt like it was a chance for me to go and offer comfort, understanding, and help to uh, offer support as much as possible. At Shepherd Center, your, your spouse can stay 30 days free in an apartment there. There's no charge, and, but beyond that, you've got to go someplace else. Uh, we were trying to figure out where we're going to go, what we're going to do, or what she's going to do. I'm, I'm in the hospital. My good friend Brian Carlton uh, gave me a call and he said, Evans, we got a problem. And Brian let me know that Frida, Rick's wife, was going to be displaced. And I talked to Brad Newkirk, who had just taken over some responsibilities in D.C. And we decided, well, you know, there's Marriott's uh, nearby and, and a lot of us are Marriott Point uh, partners. So we got her the points. She got a place to stay nearby that even had shuttle back and forth to the Shepherd Center from that Marriott and I know that uh, that, that worked out really well for them. We know that Rick's a fighter and he's working his way back in. He wants to get back to work and he will be here. I would like Rick to know, and I don't think I speak for myself, that we're going to continue to support him, to cheer him on, to make sure that he has what he needs to continue with his recovery, and that he always remembers how much he's valued and appreciated. You know, we all talk about 1DHG, and we all have different perceptions of what that looks like. And for me, there is no better example than how the firm really rallied around Rick and his family. I just think it's just our culture. You know, we, we want to be there for people that, that need help and we just show that time after time. 
when people get into a situation where they need help or they need encouragement or they need support, you know, our partner group and our firm, the culture is, we're just going to be there for them. You know, when folks from your firm are showing up on your doorstep purely because they care and they want to be able to communicate that caring in support of your recovery journey, it, uh, it just couldn't be more meaningful. I want to get back to work. I love the people I work with. I love the clients I work with. I'm getting better every day, getting stronger every day, and I won't stop. My goal is to get up and walk. You know, John Roberts said, well, we want you back anyway, we can get you back. That made me feel really good. Matt Snow told me, whatever you need, you tell us what it is, we'll get it for you. David Evans, what he did with the Marriott points. To have people at, the, at that high a level in the firm in your corner and pushing for you and pulling for you is, is an amazing thing. And like I say, it's a humbling thing, and it's a, it's a overwhelming thing, and a heartwarming thing. They've just done things that I never thought a firm would do. They went over and above what I would have ever expected, but I'm grateful and thankful for, very much.